go. Time. The time is 5.48 a.m. Alexa, bathroom lights on. Okay guys, I'm gonna try something. I don't know if this is gonna work. And then I put a little bit of this Maybelline lipstick. No, not on my lips. Wait a minute, before you go, we're in the middle of giveaway season. Did you forget? I joined TikTok yesterday for the first time in my, I've never even seen. <laughs> okay guys, so it's 11.31 on Thursday. I just went to sleep, yo. Fuck. I think that's Cappy. Baby girl, did you pee on the bath mat? She peed on the bath mat. Okay, great. There's just something about waking up for a 72 hour shift that hits different. I always see people with like wearing their towels like this and I always think, oh my gosh, it's gonna fall off. <laughs> Mine is falling off right now. So I just fixed it. Lip check. This is one of my favorite products to moisturize, like my whole body. I already have a backup because it's serious, but I just love how it makes my skin feel and smell. My family has a history of eczema and I used to break out a lot, but I actually don't break out anymore, which is great, except for my lips. But literally just this much and my body is creamy. Give me one second. Every time you guys see me, that, that like table over there is always filled with clothes. And honestly, that's a very special table for me. My very dear friend gave it to me. So, you know, I always want to keep it. I try to keep it clean, but then, you know, life happens and... And you know what? I have a trunk right here. So anyway, wow, I don't have lighting, so I'm gonna... Oh, what I would do for a nice hot cup of coffee right now. But I'm gonna go make myself some tea. Quite honestly, I changed my mind about the lighting. Okay, so I am looking a little bit decent now. And as you can see, I changed my mind about the lighting. So I don't know, guys. Are you one of those people that when you wake up in the morning, you're just like on? I probably seem way too energetic right now. Even though, guess what? I got literally two hours of sleep. My brain felt like it was on fire, literally. I think the last time I did a live-in was probably four years ago. So, you know, I'm a little rusty. I think that was really stressing me out, even though... I've been working with my current client now for about six years, almost seven. I know her, I love her, but 72 hour shift is, it can really mess you up. Usually K-drama puts me to sleep, that's my bedtime story, but, and then of course, as you can see back there with like my nipples all out, I'm still getting used to this vlogging thing and just how to be aesthetic on camera. Um, is, is it just me? Does anyone else? Oh my god. My air fryer needs a wash. Is anybody else like that where you just like let your air fryer go for a very long time? But I do have foil paper. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was just like looking at my lip game. <laughs> I did put some Vaseline and it looks a lot better, which kind of gives you the impression that my lips are healthy. And I think that they are starting to get better. This wasn't the case before. Like I would put this and it would look worse. I feel like I need more than that. Like that's so small. I usually eat more than that now. I'm gaining those gains. Tell me if you notice this about yourself. You use your shoulders way more than you think you're using your shoulders. I was just drinking this coffee and I realized that I like pull it using my whole shoulder to like sip. And meanwhile, I'm like, you know, developing more body awareness. So I relax my shoulder and suddenly I can use like my back muscles to hold my cup up and not put any tension here. Next time you're like drinking something, just pay attention to that. Or next time you're just standing around, pay attention to if, li like literally just standing around, pay attention to if you have like tension here. So that like, sh that boost of adrenaline that you get when you wake up, if you're one of those people that can like just be on the go as soon as you get out of bed. Like it wears off. <laughs> I think I'm at that point. It is, but it is seven o'clock. So I woke up, I got out of bed at five something. I still have to pack. This is officially a breakfast chat guys. Like officially a breakfast chat. Maybe, maybe we should make this a thing. Like what are my expectations about people signing up to this 
channel subscribing i don't really have any expectations yet is that bad that is actually a function of my personality it's like never to get too crazy because disappointment is rampant tell me it's not tell me it is not my mental health is the most important thing to me at the end of the day okay beautiful wonderful relationship with my husband 14 plus years i think we both had so much baggage with us that when we met each other we were toxic to each other in the sense that i had a lot of depression and he had a lot of anger. We didn't understand that we both had an illness. Whenever we were experiencing our illness at the time, we were toxic to each other because we didn't understand what we were going through and we didn't understand what the other was going through. I discovered on my own that I had a problem when I was about 23. Depression is an illness because I didn't know. No one told me, like we didn't talk about mental health back then. So when I decided that it was an illness. I guess I started redesigning my own thoughts around what I was experiencing through a deeper process of self-reflection. You meet those people who be like, oh, the past is in the past. Honey boo boo child, if you are not reflecting on your past experiences so that you're growing from them, you are literally gonna keep repeating the same mistakes and you're gonna actually probably, most likely, be toxic to a lot of people around you. There might be a connection between like, short tempers or higher anxiety and lack of deep self-reflection i don't know but like it's worth thinking about i mean i used to think that if you're not fighting with your partner that you are not in a passionate loving relationship i actually believe that i can officially say that's myth now I just sound like those people who are just telling the world how great their relationship is. Nobody really cares. This is more about how helpful self-reflection is. What I've experienced personally. And I know you can relate to this. It doesn't matter like who you are. I know you can relate to this. And I know you can relate to the fact that if you've had like really terrible things happen to you. From the time you were a baby to, you know, throughout your life. You understand how hard it is to get to a place where you feel really secure. Not just with at home, but like when you go out into the world with strange things with the unknown, it's really hard to trust. Um, it's really hard to be vulnerable. So you know. Anyway, I kind of want to leave here in about an hour and 20 minutes. And I still have to pack. I just felt the impulse to like get all comfy and curl. So I'm just like putting my hair down to manipulate my brain against its bad habits. Right, Mumsy? <clears throat> baby girl is trying to get into her bed she's 17 years old and she was on the decline about nine months ago that pretty much told us to put her down but we said yeah no and we rehabilitated her and now she's even she's the weakest cat in the house but she's quite literally the strongest because we allowed her to be independent as opposed to like super babying her yeah and obviously you could see my already doing its thing being terrible Okay guys, I'm going to try something. I don't know if this is going to work, but let's try it. Oh my god, that actually worked out. Yay! That's the fit. I'm, my client is 97 years old. So I'm not going to wear any makeup, but I am, I'm, when I say makeup, foundation, but I am going to wear this powder just to get the, you know, oil off my face. I find that when I do this, just bang it like this, the powder comes on the, like so, and then I can just rub it in. And that's... <laughs> so I'm just going to do a little bit on the eyes and then I'm ready to go. The question is, do you see a difference? So I finished my makeup, threw my hair into a ponytail. I used Sex Kitten Tarte eyeliner. I used just Maybelline. I don't know what this color is, to be honest. Um, and then I put a little bit of this Maybelline lipstick. No, not on my lips, on my cheek. It's so light, you can't see it. And then I put just a little bit of this eyebrow pencil. My eyebrows are microbladed. I'll actually like, post a picture up here of what my eyebrows used to look like. Yeah, and then I used this Mascara. I really like this mascara. I have only worn fake eyelashes in my life once for a project and someone put it on me. I do not know how to do my own lashes. Okay, 
and I'm about to hit the road, Jack. This is a Manhattan Bam 2 train. I literally slept the entire time on the train because as you know, I only got two hours of sleep. It's about a 10 minute walk from the train to my client's apartment. And my 72 hour shift will commence. Okay guys, so it's 11.31 on Thursday and I literally have not slept since Tuesday. So I don't know what I'm running on right now, but uh, but I just wanted to jump on here real quick because my lips, okay, I have to take you guys into the bathroom because I don't know what it is. Like, is it the change of environment where my lips are not acting up? They have not acted up all the entire time that I was here. So I'm in the bathroom right now. I mean, the lighting is still not great in here, but it doesn't feel terrible. And my skin looks really bad because I forgot my, um, what did I forget? I forgot my makeup remover and I forgot my <laughs> lotion, <laughs> my face lotion. So my face is really dry right now. But for me to actually go to bed without moisturizing my skin is, but. You know, I just feel really good about the fact that my lip has not acted up in the last two days. Now I have to really think, is it home? Is it just a change of environment? Like, what is it? But like, I moisturized my lips once, both days, in the morning after I brushed my teeth, and that was it. It could very well be that this whole cold turkey process that I'm on is actually starting to have an impact. But last thing before I go to sleep, I joined TikTok yesterday for the first time in my, I've never even seen what the TikTok, like I've never even like downloaded the app. I've never even went on the website. Like the only TikToks I've seen is like if it was on my Instagram feed or something. You know, I looked up lip eczema on TikTok to see like what would come up. And there are a good number of people who experienced this. So that made me feel a little bit better that I'm not entirely alone and there are lots of people going through this, but it made me feel awful that not a lot of people had solutions um, for themselves. So to, to have to experience this and not have a solution is, it sucks. It really sucks. I also noticed that there wasn't a lot of visibility. Like, you know, not a lot of people were commenting or liking their stuff. So I'm wondering like, are people just like swiping through because no one can relate to that? Or do people just like engage with it, but not like it to show that, you know, there's a community of us. I just want to prove to myself that not even lip eczema is going to hold me back. Because like literally five years ago, I wanted to prove to myself that I could be vulnerable because I'd had so much barriers up and I really, I really did the work and I accomplished that. So this is like, to me, the next step. <laughs> and this is like graduation class. The fact that I'm actually vlogging, next step vulnerable. You know, and I'm at a point in my life where I have the opportunity to journal in this way. And I feel so inspired by all the other people who are journaling this way. And the fact that they've already accomplished that level of vulnerability is amazing to me. I feel like, wow. <laughs> so I guess it's something that I also want to be a part of as well. Anyway, guys, till next time. Wait a minute. Before you go, we're in the middle of giveaway season. Did you forget? I'm giving away an Amazon gift card, right? If you want to win, you have to be subscribed to this channel and you have to follow me on Instagram. And you have to comment down below what your favorite TV show is and what your favorite song is and turn on notifications. Just four things. And then when you're done all that, here's what I'm going to do. On December 14th, I'm going to pick a random video between episode 7 and December 14th. And I'm going to pick a random comment. I'm going to check to see if you're subscribed to this channel. Then you're following me on Instagram and you liked all my photos. And then you are the lucky winner. I notify you on Instagram with a claim code. And this giveaway is all about your support and me saying thank you. Because honestly, you make this a ton more fun. Even though I'm having a lot of fun already. But like, who doesn't want more fun?